This is Pierce Allman from the Texas School Book Depository Building for WFAA News. Just a few minutes ago, the President of the United States turned from Houston Street onto Elm Street on his way to a scheduled luncheon appearance at the Stemmons Trademark. And as he went by the Texas School Book Depository, headed for the triple underpass, there were three loud reverberating explosions. Nobody moved. Everyone seemed stunned. A few seemed to look around, wondering who has the firecrackers. Then suddenly the Secret Service men sprang into action. The convertible bearing the President and Mrs. Kennedy sped away, and officers, both plain clothes and uniformed, seemed to spring from everywhere at once, guns drawn, ordering people to lie flat. There are two witnesses who were near the President's car at the time of the explosions who say that shots were fired from which upper window we do not know. We do not and cannot confirm the reports at this time that the President has been shot. One witness says he definitely was shot, that he was hit twice, that he saw the President slump in his seat. As I say, this is not confirmed at this time. From where I am, the police have two witnesses. They are bringing them in now. I'm in the Texas School Book Depository Building. They're bringing some witnesses in now. We will try to learn further and relay word to the station. Police now say that President Kennedy was assassinated by a shot from a warehouse, so that if this is, has been confirmed, then that rules out the grassy knoll near the uh, street on which the motorcade passed. The entire building has now been evacuated, and Dallas police 
say that uh, they have found the remains of fried chicken and uh, paper on the fifth floor. They say the sniper apparently had been there for some time. The Secret Service said the assassin apparently used a high-powered army or Japanese rifle of approximately 25 caliber. They said the rifle had a scope on it. Where this information comes from, we do not know. We earlier had reports it was a 30-30 rifle. Uh, but the Dallas police are being quoted now as saying that the uh, rifle was of Japanese make, of high power, and approximately 25 caliber with a scope on it. And the uh, remains of fried chicken and the paper have been found on the fifth floor of a warehouse along the presidential route, and from which the bullets apparently were fired. That's the Dallas police with that information. Um. They wouldn't let us out of the Texas School Book Depository building. As the president turned the corner, we uh, we were standing there and, and broke into applause. As he as he came around, uh, it, it, it's funny because we were we were remarking among ourselves. Charlie Ford of Radio Promotion was with me, and we were looking up at the open windows of the Texas School Book Depository building and at all that open space and wondering just how in the world they had already covered all this and wondering where the Secret Service men were. And right after Mr. Kennedy passed in front of me, I heard one big explosion, and my immediate thought was, uh, like I think most of the people standing around there, this is firecrackers, but it's a pretty poor taste. I looked and saw the president, I thought, duck. Evidently, he was swamping at the time. The car immediately sped on. Uh, no one seemed galvanized into immediate action. The shots didn't seem rapid at all. They were three well-spaced, uh, reverberating shots. How far were you from the car, Pierce, when the shots were fired? The car was in the middle of the street, and I was on the left-hand side of the street, I'd say about uh, ten feet. And it didn't stop? No, the car kept going. The car did not stop. Mm -hmm. The policeman immediately came over and said, uh, all right, hit the dirt. And everyone concerned scrambled right away, including this young man, that, uh, the young man with the Bill two Newman. children, Bill Newman, whom I <coughs> talked to right after it happened. Now we would like to get uh, the late developments in Washington by returning to Washington and David Brinkley. Well, this one is not from Washington, Frank, but the Dallas police reported a moment ago that a foreign-made rifle believed to have been used in the shooting of the president had no fingerprints on it. It has been sent here to the FBI laboratory in Washington for an analysis. Dallas Crime Laboratory, Lieutenant J.C. Day, went to the building a short time after the uh, shooting took place, and he walked out with a British 303 rifle. The rifle has a telescopic sight. Now, the rifle was found on the sixth floor of the building near a corner window. Also, police searching that area found three empty 303 cartridge cases, also scraps of chicken, as if a person could have been there for some time. There were boxes of books, textbooks, and other... ...to Elm Street. Whenever we uh, heard the first shot, we thought, uh, I thought it was a motorcycle backfired. Uh, Jim Cheney, I understand that you were riding next to the president's car when the assassination took place. I was riding on the right rear fender of what happened. Well, we had proceeded west on uh, Elm Street uh, at approximately 15 to 20 miles an hour. The first shot, I thought it was a motorcycle backfiring, and uh, I looked back over to my left, and uh, also President Kennedy looked back over his left shoulder. Then the, uh, the second shot came, I looked, uh, I looked back just in time to see the President struck in the face by the second bullet.